Hello, Geminis. This is your reading for the month of June. This reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> Let's see, guys. What is going on with my Geminis in the month of June? Please share any messages for Gemini for June. Around Gemini for June. Three of Wands, Aries energy here. You're waiting on someone. I think that um, you guys are like at this point where you feel like instead of like approaching things and being very forward, um, that maybe it's time for somebody to come to you. Like you've been the one that's been making the first move or you've been the one that's like, have been spearheading things and you feel like it's time to let somebody else take the lead in this one you know what's crossing Gemini's two of swords hmm and then you have second thoughts about it maybe I should maybe I should maybe I shouldn't it's like you go back and forth but the back and forth keeps you from doing anything. I think your challenge this month is deciding whether or not you really should just wait. Making up your mind what it is that you want. And doing what you feel like you need to do. This is all about seeing things clearly here with this two of swords energy your challenge is to see things for what they are and to see things clearly there's something that you're missing okay that's libra energy <clears throat> what's the underlying issue here for gemini's underlying issues cars are wanting to jump out here for you Six of Wands. The Three of Wands is doubled. I feel like you guys are wanting that recognition. You're wanting somebody to say, hey, um, I see you. You're wanting that acknowledgement. There's some sort of action that you want to see coming from this person that gives you like basically the unspoken okay to move forward to come forward some of you guys i feel like somebody has messed with your ego here this is leo energy with the six of wands um your ego has been stepped on and I feel like you're just wanting that acknowledgement some of you are wanting to date some of you are not wanting to let go of the the um, single life here look at that chariot I have to say this because it's just clear to me that um, you're thinking about for some of you you're thinking about yourselves you're not really thinking about the other person you're not really taking that person into consideration and not saying that that's a bad thing because I don't know what this person did I don't know if they did anything but this is like the foundation of why you are standing here at three of wands waiting on someone maybe it's the fact that you guys are used to people coming to you you're used to things being uh, sort of sort of effortless only you know your situation but I feel like there's this underlying um, issue of basically looking out for yourselves and really not seeing things um, from the other person's point of view or putting things into perspective because there's something that you're missing here 
uh, this is Cancer Leo energy down here. What was going on in the recent past for Gemini's? The Seven of Swords. Yeah. See, there's that Seven of Swords there. And, you know, the Sevens are all about yourself. The Seven of Swords specifically is about yourself. Only thinking about yourself regardless of how the other person feels. Whatever they feel is irrelevant. And even if you know that there's something that they don't necessarily jive with, you do it anyway. That's what the Seven of Swords is. It's about cheating. It's about um, being very selfish, not taking the other person to account, you know, like that, just like that. This is Aquarius energy here. But I don't know if there's something that this person has done to make you feel like I'm looking out for number one first now or whether somebody else has done something to you and in the past and then there's somebody new uh, that's coming to your life that you have your eye on possibly that you're viewing like this like I'm gonna wait for them to come to me um, I'm not gonna make any moves towards them because of what you've experienced before I feel like there's some past hurt here whether it's with a current person or whether this involves a past person crowning thoughts for Gemini crowning thoughts for Gemini the lovers I get that I definitely get that there's somebody that you love there's somebody that I feel like you guys want to be with I almost feel like you are tormenting yourselves um, yeah I do because I feel like you're playing a waiting game with them and it's been a long game it's, it's what I'm feeling like here hmm What's coming in for Gemini's? What's coming in for Gemini's? Queen of Swords there. There's somebody waiting on you too. There's definitely somebody waiting on you and I feel like this person may be angry. They may feel like um, you've done something to them. They may feel like they want the truth from you. There's, there's, there's something that both of you, I feel like, are not seeing. You're both not allowing yourselves to see the truth. Uh, I feel like egos are definitely flared here. Could be another air sign like you guys as well. How does Gemini view this situation? Strength. Some of you want to apologize. Some of you want an apology. Some of you feel like I'm strong enough to wait them out. I'm not giving in to them. Very prideful. What is the influence here for Gemini? Influence for Gemini. Five of Pentacles, you were hurt. This person could have put you out. They could have left you for somebody. Or you feel like they've left you for somebody. They rejected you. For some of you. Okay. Hopes or fears for Gemini. Five of Swords. You don't want this person. Some of you are feeling like um, you hurt somebody. You rejected somebody. And your fear is that this person's going to retaliate. That they're going to try to do something to you that they feel like you did to them. And that's the reason why you don't want to make that first move and you're waiting for them. Because it still allows you to have the upper hand. Taurus energy here. What is the outcome here for Gemini? outcome for Gemini's what's the outcome for Gemini's 
Eight of Wands. I feel like there is definitely going to be communication. I feel like um, both of you are going to try to speak. Both of you are going to try to get your points across without listening to the other. It's going to be um, hectic. It's going to be a challenge for you guys to move forward if you can't um, actively listen to what the other person has to say and vice versa. I do feel like there's definitely going to be communication. I feel like this situation um, will escalate Okay, before it gets better. Alright guys, that's Sagittarius energy there. That's what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.